Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the addition and subtraction of rational numbers. By the way guys, when we say rational numbers, it is defined as the number written in the form P over Q, where Q is not equal to zero, or in other words, pos possible na shy ratio ng two numbers, or mas kilala bilang fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have here, four different examples on how to add and subtract rational numbers. By the way guys, we have four different operations on how to simplify rational numbers. So what we have now is addition and subtraction of rational numbers. Let's start with number 1. We are given 2 over 9 plus 3 over 9. So as you can see, these two rational numbers are in fractional form, wherein these two fractions has the same denominator. So, mapansin nyo, since meron silang same denominator, ito yung klase ng given na madali nilang gawin. What you need to do is to copy your denominator, which is 9, since they are the same denominator, then add the numerators, which is 2 plus 3. So, to simplify this, this is 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5 over Copy your denominator, which is 9. So, basic rule in adding or subtracting rational numbers, at the end of your answer, after performing the operation, what you need is to simplify your final answer. In this case, 5 over 9 is already simplified. Therefore, this is our answer. So, let's continue with item number 2. In number 2, this one is, again, an example of addition of rational numbers, but... In this case, we have different denominators. We have 3 and 2. So basically, for us to simplify this, we need to find the LCM of the two numbers. Okay, the LCM. Para magkaroon tayo ng least common denominator. Here, the LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. So what we need to do is to put 6 here. Sir, paano po natin nakuha yung LCM? So let me give you an idea paano natin nakuha yung LCM. Let's say meron tayong 2 and 3. Since ang LCM natin, again, LCM is least common multiple, what you need to do is to list down all the multiples of 3 and 2. Example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. Next, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Since LCM siya, list common, yung unang pareha sila na multiple. And in this case, their LCM is equal to 6. That's why the LCD is 6. Again, LCD is the least common denominator. Now, to get your new numerator, what you need to do is to divide this denominator, 6, by the original denominator. And then multiply it with the numerator. Example, 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 4 that is equal to 8. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 4 that is equal to 8. Next, copy your operation here. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 5 that is equal to 15. Simplify this. 8 plus 15, which is equal to 23. Copy your denominator 6, and this is the answer. 23 over 6. Next, let's continue. We have here number 3, 7 over 3, minus 5 over 3. This is subtraction. So what we need here, and since they have the same denominators, we will copy your denominator, which is equal to 3. Then, simply subtract the numerators. 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then, copy your denominator, which is 3. And there you have it. Your final answer is 2 over 3. Now, let's continue with number 4. 4 over 3 minus 5 over 2. These two fractions have different denominators. 
So we will get again the LCM. Since this is 3 and 2, the LCM is 6, meaning the least common denominator is 6. So divide, multiply. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 4, that is 8. Then minus 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 5, which is equal to 15. So what we have here is 8 minus 15. Definitely the answer here is negative 7 over 6. So to simplify our answer, the negative sign must be written here at, at the center. And then 7 over 6. And this is the final answer. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to add or subtract rational numbers. Wait for our next video about multiplying and dividing rational numbers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin ba button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!